The Pentagon says it was an intercontinental ballistic missile that North Korea launched on Wednesday, its first such missile test in more than two months. The missile flew about a thousand kilometers before splashing down in the Sea of Japan. Tokyo was furious. I believe the international community needs to be united and to fully implement sanctions against North Korea. Japan will not back down in the face of provocation, but maximize pressure on North Korea. As was Washington. I will only tell you that we will take care of it. We have General Mattis in the room with us, and uh, we've had a long discussion on it. It is a situation that we will handle. The bottom line is it's a continued effort to build a threat, sir, a ballistic missile threat that uh, endangers world peace, regional peace, and certainly the United States. In response, South Korea test fired its own missiles, a show of force against its northern neighbor. At the State Department, officials said Secretary Rex Tillerson left a meeting with the King of Jordan in order to consult with allies, and at the United Nations, a sense of alarm. If it was launched, you know, towards the island of over the <clears throat> Japan, uh, if it, f it fell, you know, in the mm, economic uh, zone, it would be, of course, an even greater, uh, uh, let's say, danger to uh, ships, to airplanes. The UN Security Council recently passed two resolutions imposing new sanctions on Pyongyang as punishment. But analysts say this latest launch shows Pyongyang doesn't care about international opinion. And part of that is, I think, to signal to Beijing, you know, don't push us too hard because we, we're not going to back down and we could go a little crazy, you know, and it might not be so good for you either. At the request of the U.S., Japan and South Korea, the U.N. Security Council will meet later on Wednesday to discuss this latest missile launch by North Korea. At most, it's going to give member nations a chance to express their dismay with Pyongyang's refusal to comply with international law and international resolutions. It's going to take a lot more diplomacy than just one meeting in order to resolve this crisis. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera at the State Department.